anime character is the strongest. Some people would say it's Luffy, the king of the pirates, while other people would say it's Goku with his godlike powers. But both these people are wrong. The strongest anime character is definitely Naruto, which is why I have now added Naruto into Minecraft with all of his crazy ninja powers. And now I'm going to try and survive 100 days as Naruto in Minecraft, all while three members of the Akatsuki try and stop me from surviving. Will Naruto be able to control his tailed beast and make it to day 100? Let's find out. On day one, I spawned in a forest as baby Naruto. Wait, why am I baby Naruto? This video is 100 days as Naruto. Oh my god, and I only have five hearts of HP. But luckily, I have this Naruto upgrade menu, so I'll be able to get more hearts later. But for right now, we gotta run away from those three Akatsuki members who are allowed to start chasing me the second I leave this stone area. Oh god, and they already have swords too. I gotta be really quick about this. How am I gonna escape? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna climb this hill and use our small baby Naruto body to hide in some trees and hopefully get away. Okay, let's do it. We're going for it. This way, go, 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 go. Get out. He's leaving. Okay, we gotta be quick and find a tree we can quickly hide under and get some wood. We want your powers, Naruto. Okay, I got it right here. We got a tree with one high gap. We'll hide behind it and hold shift. Should give us time to get one, two. Oh, we're not gonna be able to get three. We need to keep going. Okay, this way. I see him, I see him. Oh, I heard a sword behind me. Get back here, Naruto. Okay, let's go here. Oh, they're on my tail, they're on my tail, they're on my tail. Down here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, he's down the hill this way. I'm coming, I'm coming. We gotta take his powers, guys. We're gonna go this way. Oh, quick, 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 quick. They ran right by. Okay, let's get down to this water. Dive in. Okay, quickly make a crafting table. Make a boat. Do you guys see him? No. You can't escape us. We're the Akatsuki. Oh! Oh, 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 there's one on me. No! Oh, he can move fast in water. Oh, God. Get back here, baby. Oh, my goodness. We gotta get out of here. Okay, it looks like he has some sword to keep up with us. Grab the boat just in case we need it and run. Get back here, baby. You can't escape the Akatsuki. Okay, let's get him. Let's see if we, let's see if we can get him from behind. He literally doesn't see him. He's stuck. Where's that baby? Oh! oh hey! Hoop. Hi. Hoop. Use the tree. Use the tree. Use the tree. Hey! No! This way? No. Oh, yes, he's dead. Oh, I knew that fall damage made him low. Let's go. Book it, book it, book it. And we are out of here. Okay, we're definitely far enough away now where we can start working on our first base. Because as baby Naruto and only having Bruh. five hearts, we need to have a super hidden first base. And luckily, I found this giant cave that looks like it goes down to bedrock. So we're going to live here. So my five heart baby won't die. Okay, so let's start by grabbing some wood before we go down to the cave. Okay, we've got 14 logs, which will definitely be enough to get started. So let's jump down to the cave and let's find a spot to build our base. Okay, so right off the bat, I see this waterfall and this screams that I could put a hidden base back here. Oh my God, look at this. It's already carved out. This is literally perfect. Okay, let's make our way super deep down this way and make a crafting table. Now make a wooden pickaxe and grab three stone. Now make a stone pickaxe and let's start digging out the base. Okay, I started digging this out. This place is full of water. I'm not gonna be able to build a base here. So instead, let's just build a base in this pillar. And now instead, this will be my home. On days two through six, I finished up the Naruto base. And actually, I'm very happy with how it turned out. It may not look amazing, but trust me, it is definitely super hidden. Okay, so welcome to the baby Naruto base. This is a base I built that only baby Naruto can get into. So the entrance is in this ladder, but to actually get to this ladder, you have to be one block tall and go through this tiny little tunnel. So getting to me is super difficult. But now that we're here, we have all the basic survival essentials we need, like our furnaces, our chests, and our bed. And the bed being the most important, because that'll literally cut down the time to day 100 and half. But anyway, now that we have the base done, it's time to actually work on some Naruto upgrades so we don't just have five hearts. So first things first, let's stop being a baby and let's become Genin Naruto, which will increase our hearts to 15 and we won't be a baby. So to actually unlock Genin Naruto, I need 32 orange dye, 20 wool, and 16 ink sacks. Now I currently already have four white wool remaining, but I don't have any ink sacks or orange dye, so let's get to work. Okay, so first things first, since there's water right behind me, let's go see if there's squids so we can get the 16 ink sacks we need. I see some squids, they're spinning in Circles. Okay, let's get them. Come here. That's one. Okay, that's 10 ink sacks. Oh, I see another squid. Okay, so we have all 16 ink sacks that we need. So now let's go find some sheep and shear them for their wool. Okay, cool. We have all 20 wool that we need. So all we need left is 32 orange dye, which uh, the sun's setting, and I don't know how to make orange dye. Oh, apparently I just need to find an orange tulip or combine red and yellow dye. That's super easy, but we'll do it tomorrow because we get to run back home before it's nighttime because I do not want to be outside when it's nighttime with only five hearts. Okay, it's officially day eight. We need orange wool. Let's get to work. Now we're basically just going to be looking for either red flowers, yellow flowers, or obviously orange flower, which uh, speaking of, there's a bunch of red and yellow flowers right there. So let's go grab those. What? It's daytime. You should be gone. Okay, so with them dead, let's just grab the flowers now. Now let's turn the red flowers into red dye and the yellow flowers into yellow dye and let's combine them together to make ourselves 14 orange dye, which is basically half of what we need. So let's keep looking for more flowers. 
Okay, here we go. If we combine this red die and this yellow die, that's the last orange die we need, which means we no longer need to be baby Naruto with only five hearts because we have everything we need to become a Genin. So let's do it. We're now Genin Naruto, which means we have 15 hearts of HP, but we also get jump to speed one and strength one so we are already so much stronger but unfortunately we're basically just a human we have no naruto powers like his rasengan But luckily, if we go to the combat upgrades, we can start unlocking some of them. So let's start by simply unlocking a kunai, which is those fancy ninja knives you see them all throw. But anyway, to unlock the kunai, we just need to kill 20 mobs with a bow, mine 30 iron ore, which like that is super easy. And then I just got to kill two of the Akatsuki with a bow and we'll be all set. So let's quickly go back to the base and start on the easiest part, which is mining 30 iron, which is kind of perfect because the sun is starting to set. Okay, so here's a big cluster of iron ore in here. This is going to get us a bunch right off the bat. Okay, we've mined all 30 iron ore we need. Now let's just go to sleep and work on unlocking the rest of the kunai tomorrow. Okay, so right now I don't have a bow and I need one if I'm gonna get 20 kills with a bow. Makes sense. Anyway, let's go make a bow real quick. So let's quickly go down to the cave and let's find some spiders. Oh, I see one. Perfect. I actually see a few. There's one. Oh, hey, two string. I literally just need one more string. Hey, you, give me your string. Okay, perfect. We got the string. Now let's just make some sticks. And just like that, we have a bow. Now I only actually have two arrows for my bow right now. So now I need to make a bunch of arrows. So let's take our gravel and let's put it all on the ground. And now let's break it all. And now we're going to do that a bunch more times. Okay, now we get a bunch of flint. Now let's just go get some feathers from some chickens so we can make arrows. Okay, we've got all the feathers we need, which is perfect because the sun's setting behind me. So we need to head home. But before we go to sleep tonight, let's go and let's make a bunch of arrows. So let's combine our feathers with our sticks and our flint to get 62 arrows, which is definitely all we need to get the entity kills, which starts with these sheep. And just like that, we've got our first entity killed with a bow. Now let's do it 19 more times. Okay, and there we go. We've officially killed 20 mobs with a bow. So now we just need to get two kills on the Akatsuki with a bow, and we'll unlock our kunai upgrade. So first, let's head back to spawn and see if the Akatsuki set up a base there, since they've done that in past videos. Well, if they're not there, we'll figure it out then. Okay, spawn is literally empty. There is nothing here, like nothing at all. So I guess it just means we gotta go look for the Akatsuki base, wherever it might be. So let's get searching. On days 11 to 14, I looked for their base everywhere, but I just couldn't find it. It turns out they built a super hidden underground base inside of of my least favorite biome. No wonder I couldn't find the Akatsuki. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I see target blocks. Oh, wait, are those natural? No, this has got to be hidden entrance. Not doing anything. <gasps> oh, it is their base. Panda bear is giving us a little bit of a... <gasps> he sees us. Oh. oh, hello. I found you. Ow. Where's the entrance? Right here. I found it. It's a trap door. Oh, they have two. They have two. Oh, God. Don't let me get close. He went through me. I'm dead. Okay, we got him. We got him with the bow. We got one with the bow. Back off, back. We need to bring him into an opening. We need to get him out in the open if we want bow kills. Twice and bow. Oh, he's running. Oh, God, they're getting me good. This is an intense ninja fight. They're getting me good. Dude, they're swords. I just need to get one more. He's surrounded. No! He bled himself. Nice. They hit each other. Oh, we need to run. We need to run. Oh, we're low, we're low, we're low. We need to go, we need to go, we need to go. Ooh. Okay, we're healing. There's one on me right now. Back off and heal. Oh, dude. Nice, he's dead, he's dead. We need some more. Oh, we need more health. I got an idea. Let's climb this tree. Whoa. Oh, what? No. Oh, we got him with the bow. Kill this one. Ah, nice. And now we got to get out of here. We just unlocked kunai. We got to get out of here. Oh, no, they're on my tail still. They're on my tail still. We need to unlock it. Let's go. Unlock kunai. Okay, we have it. We have it. They're going to be right behind me. Yep, here he is. Oh, dude, he has kunais. Let's try it out. It causes bleed too. Nice. I can just spam these things. It uses some energy. Yes. Okay, we got him. He's dead. Let's keep going. We need to get out of here. Woo! Okay, so we officially unlocked our new kunai ability, which is kind of broken because we can just spam kunai. Look at this. It's kind of broken, but not as broken as the next ability we're going to work on, which is Naruto's Substitution Jutsu. This is literally my favorite jutsu from Naruto, because if you're attacked, you can turn into a log, which honestly is perfect, seeing as I was getting beaten up a ton during that fight. Imagine just turning into a log instead. You know I got to unlock that. So to actually get it, we need 64 logs, 64 sticks, and a campfire. Wow, that's easy. I can do that all in one day. Okay, let's just cut down a bunch of trees to start with. Okay, we've got all the logs we need. Now let's just go to the base and make everything. Okay, let's start by turning these oak logs into planks and then turning them all into sticks. And now we just need a campfire, which we can make with three logs, a piece of coal, and three sticks. And boom, just like that, in a single day, we can already unlock the substitution jutsu, which like the kunais are cool and all, but this is even cooler. And since it's still daytime outside, let's try it out. Okay, let's go near the skeleton and let's use it. 
boom, we've disappeared in a bunch of smoke, and now there's a log in our place. Oh, and the skeleton gets blindness. So it's super easy to escape. Okay, so with all the tier one upgrades officially complete, it's time to work on some of our tier two upgrades. Now, all of these seem cool and all, but I definitely want to work on Naruto's most famous move, Rasengan. Okay, so to actually unlock Rasengan. Okay, so let's start at the hardest part of unlocking Rasengan, which has got to be killing the blazes with snowballs. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, I could just get the kunai kills on the mobs and get it done with, or get the Akatsuki with the kunai, but blazes with snowballs? That's hard. So let's just get it done with. And since we don't have another portal, we got to go make one. So let's quickly get some diamonds for a diamond pickaxe, and then we'll go get some obsidian. Okay, we have all the diamonds we need, so let's make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. And now let's mine ourselves some obsidian. Okay, we found a place to make some obsidian, so let's just out, go down here. And it looks like there's actually already obsidian. I'm just gonna make my own obsidian pool right here and get to work. Okay, we got all the obsidian. Let's get out of here. And let's just dig behind our chests right here. And let's put our obsidian in. Let's make a flint and steel, and let's light it up. And now we can go to the nether. But there's just one more problem. We don't have any snowballs, nor have I seen any snow. So let's go look for some snow. I looked for snow everywhere near the base and there was literally nothing close by. So I had to travel out a bit far just to get some stinking snowballs. Ooh, I found some ice and there's snow on top. Perfect. Plus where there's ice, there's likely a snow biome. So let's just go this way. Okay, let's see if there's any actual land biome over here so we can get snow. Cause I could just take it from the ice, but that's not gonna be enough, I don't think, to kill all those blazes. So I think it takes a lot of snowballs to kill a blaze. Oh, I see land ahead. Let's grab a boat. Okay, we made it. It's literally a snowy beach. So let's just dig up all this snow for snowballs. Okay, I've got a bunch of snowballs. Hopefully that's enough because now it's time to take on some blazes. Okay, we're home. Now we just got to go jump in the cave over here and jump on in. And now we just got to jump down into this waterfall and swim back up our waterfall. And now we're back at the base. So let's just go to the nether and kill some blazes with our snowballs. Nice and easy. Here we go. Oh, oh, TT, oh, TT. Right, Naruto, just check out your base. Oh, <gasps> he did it, he did it, he did it. <laughs> oh, it's on the floor, it's on the floor. Oh, oh. The hunters are here. All right, I'm going down. Okay. Rise. Ah, oh no. Dude! The hunters are here. Oh god. Okay, he fell, he fell, he fell. Oh god. Come on, I got an idea. Ready? Oh, he fell. Nice, they're falling. Oh, there's water down there, though. Let's see if we can kunai them before they get up. Nice, we gave him bleed. Bro, I can't get to him. Okay, he's bleeding again. Nice, nice, that should get him. Oh, he lived again. Keep him down there, keep him down there. Ah! tried so hard. Nice, we got one. Oh, he's back above. I see him above me. He got past me. That's right. That's right. All right. Sounds like he's breaking down to me. Yeah, I'm going to have to defeat Naruto by sin. Oh, my God. Nice. That's not going to work, though. Oh, goodness. Oh, he got me bleeding. He's done. He's done. Oh, oh, God, no. Yes, we got him. Did they take anything from my base? They literally left most of the good stuff behind. Well, that's great news. At least our stuff survived, even if our base didn't. I guess instead, before we go take on the blazes, let's go build a new base somewhere where I don't have to worry about being blown up when I get back. Well, that was a big waste of time. That time I spent getting snowballs gave the Akatsuki a chance to try and beat me already. Like we survived, but now we have to waste time building a brand new Naruto base. Okay, so welcome to the new Naruto base. Yes, it's behind me. And yes, it's literally just in a tree. But Naruto's from the Hidden Leaf Village, so this actually makes sense. Get it? Because it's a base hidden in the leaves. Okay, anyway, let's just go into the base. Basically, to get inside, all you do is jump on this tree. You walk over here, and you're in. And it's a little squishy. But that's actually by design. So right here, we have some furnaces. We got all our chests and a bunch of our stuff. But in reality, this base isn't real. I mean, it's real, but it's not my main base. You see, this is where I'm storing some stuff just to make it look legit. But the real base is actually hidden below. So if we exit the tree and look right next to it, there's a hidden ladder that goes down under ground, which leads to the real base, where we have our chests, our crafting table, and our furnaces, and of course, our nether portal, so we can go kill some blazes with some snowballs. Okay, so first things first, let's find another fortress so we can kill some blazes. Oh god, you're spooky. Okay, I see a bastion over that way, so I should probably go in the opposite direction. This way. Okay, we made it to another fortress, so let's quickly build up to it, and now let's just find a blaze spawner. Oh, I hear a blaze spawner for sure. Oh, I see it. It's right up above me. Okay, we found the blazes. Now we just have to actually kill them with snowballs, not our sword. I just need to clean them up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Now we just wait for them to spawn, and it should take seven snowballs to get these kills. Oh, here we go. Seven. 
just like that, we got five blaze kills with snowballs. Let's get out of here. Okay, with the blaze kills done, all we have to do is get 30 kills on mobs with our kunai. And then we need to kill some Akatsuki with our kunai, but we'll do that right after. So first, let's get some mob kills, starting with you. One. Okay, we officially have all 30 kills that we need with the kunai. So now we just gotta find the Akatsuki and get revenge for our last base, which will then help us unlock Rasengan. So let's head back to the Akatsuki base. Okay, their base is literally up here in this bamboo. Okay, let's hold shift as we get close because last time they saw me approaching. Oh, I see their names. Okay, get ready with the kunai. We're gonna spam this at them. Give a bunch of them bleed. Oh, oh, it's Naruto. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Okay, there we go. Okay, that should give him a bunch of bleed. Oh, there's one behind me. Okay, back off. Let's get him out of the bamboo. Yeah, surprise, Naruto. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he got me good. He just launched himself at me. Climb this tree. Jump down. Oh, I'm bleeding. Nice. We got one with the kunai. We only need two more. Oh, wait. One just died of bleed. Nice. We can get this guy. We can unlock our sand gun. Oh, that did a lot of health. Go this way. Climb. Nice, we got him. Let's climb this tree. Let's climb this tree. Let's climb this tree. I got a brilliant idea. Ready? Okay, let's get to the top. Nice, we made it. Let's quickly unlock Rasengan. And now we have Rasengan. Now we just gotta use it on them. Okay, ready? Rasengan! Oh my gosh. What was that? Oh, look at this. It's so broken, Rasengan. Okay, there's one coming up behind. Oh, he gave me bleed. He died though. Okay, let's climb to this tree. Now their base is over here in the bamboo. There's some vines over here to the side. Let's jump down. Catch these vines. Nice. Now let's jump along the bamboo. Oh, I fell. Never mind. We're going to their base. Okay, let's go down the hole. Nice. Here's their beds. I don't even think they realize I got in their base. I'm taking all their ores. Oh, they're here. Ah! Ow! One's dead. He broke our bed. Oh my god. Base is done. Oh, we're low. Oh, he broke our bed. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Eat some food. Nice, I got him bled. And... No! Rasengan, bro! He's done! Rasengan, baby! This base is now mine! Or it would be if I wanted it. Oh, I can't blow up the walls just by using Rasengan on it. Well, I guess we'll just take their beds and leave. But with Rasengan unlocked, we now have Naruto's main move. Okay, we made it back to the base. Okay, now that we've unlocked Rasengan, which is a stupidly broken ability, we can now work to unlock our next jutsu, which is the oh, multi-shadow clone jutsu. This is literally one of Naruto's main moves where he can literally make thousands of himself. It's insane. So let's unlock this. To get it, we just need four ender pearls, 16 crying obsidian, and 12 sea pickles. None of that's really that hard, as we just really need to trade with some piglins and find a warm ocean for some sea pickles. So let's start with the easiest part, which is definitely gonna be the sea pickles, because I already know where a warm ocean is, so finding the sea pickles should be pretty easy. Okay, so we're in the warm ocean area, but now we just have to find some sea pickles. I found a sea pickle. It's right here. Let's grab it. And there's four sea pickle. Let's see if there are any more down here. Oh yeah, there's a few right here. Okay, and just like that, we have all the sea pickles we need. So now we just need a bunch of stuff that you get from trading with piglins in the nether. So let's go there and start doing some trading. Okay, it's day 33. We're in the nether and the bastion's literally right over there. So let's go get it. And we made it. Okay, now let's just squeeze our way inside here. Okay, now we just need to get some of these gold blocks. Ooh, you guys are spicy. Now let's make our way down to the bottom because there's way more gold blocks down there. Okay, perfect. Now let's just grab all these. Okay, we actually just got some crying obsidian in that chest. So we only need nine more. Okay, so let's turn all of our gold into gold ingots and let's give it to these piglins in this hole. And now that they're trading, they should start giving me some ender pearls and crying obsidian. They're still trading with me, but we officially have the ender pearls and the crying obsidian that we need. So, uh, bye guys. But with those items in hand, we can officially unlock multi-shadow clone jutsu. But we'll do that tomorrow when we can actually test it. Okay, we're in a place where we can easily test this. So let's unlock multi-shadow clone jutsu and let's use it. Oh my goodness, look at them all. It's a ton of me's. So as long as I have no items out, it is very hard to tell which one of these is the real me. I just need to stay around them. But the best part is if they get attacked, they all scramble. And start beating up whoever I attack. So the hunters will really have no idea who's who. Rasenka! And now Ragai Rocky was slain by Ragai Rocky. Come, my ninja crew. Follow me. So with multi-shadow clone jutsu officially unlocked, it's time to work on yet another jutsu. Now we already have tier two Geni Naruto, tier two Rasengan, and tier two multi-shadow clone jutsu. So now it's time to get our first tier three upgrade, which is gonna be the summoning jutsu. This is gonna let me summon a giant frog, just like from Naruto, if you know who Gamabuta is. And if not, it's a giant frog. And I want to unlock him. So to actually get him, I need to use 
Rasengan on a warden 20 times. Oh, I'm so dead. I also have to cure a villager and I have to get six kills on the Akatsuki with my Rasengan. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Of all of these, I kind of want to cure a villager first, but that means getting a weakness potion and I was just in the nether, so nah. Instead, let's go out and see if we can find an ancient city so that way we can blast a warden 20 times with Rasengan. Is it me or are ancient cities getting harder to find lately? Because it would take until day 37 just to find one. Oh, there's an ancient city literally right next to me. Ooh, and some diamonds. Okay, now let's go into the ancient city. I don't see any shriekers below, but just to be safe, let's go here. Okay, there's a shrieker right there. Let's see if we can destroy it. Okay, go away. Go away, shrieker. Yes, we survived. No shrieker. Okay, let's open up this chest. Nice. We got a god apple and a bunch of junk. And this chest, two more god apples. Well, perfect. I can definitely punch the warden 20 times now. But let's just quickly check one more chest before we start that battle. Lame. Okay, let's go battle the warden. And that's probably going to summon a warden right there. Or not. Okay, here we go. Let's up. This should summon a warden here. The warden is right next to me. Here we go. Okay, run, run, run. Okay, cross hand gun. Okay, we need another god apple. Nice, we got trapped in a hole. We need a god apple. Only five more times. Yes, we did it. Run. Oh, we need to get out of here. I think the warden's trapped over there. We can get out of here. Let's just not accidentally summon another one. Okay, let's just build up here. Here we go. And just like that, we're out of here. Okay, just like that, we've Rasengan the warden 20 times. Now we just need to cure a villager and then take on the Akatsuki. That actually cure a villager is kind of tricky. We're basically going to need to throw a weakness potion at a zombie villager and then feed it a golden apple. Okay, so let's start by putting on some crafting music. And now let's begin crafting. Let's grab our golden apples and let's quickly make one golden apple. And now we just need to get ourselves a weakness potion. So let's go to the nether and get ourselves some nether warts and blaze rods. Okay, let's quickly just build over here. And now we're good. Let's take on some blazes. Okay, we got enough blaze rods. Now let's just go find some nether warts. Okay, so now that we got all the blaze rods, we don't need anything else to actually unlock a weakness potion. Because unlike most potions, this one doesn't require nether warts, which I think it's the only one that doesn't. Anyway, let's go home. Okay, now we just need to go get a fermented spider eye, which is simply crafted with a brown mushroom, a spider eye, and some sugar. So let's quickly kill a spider for a spider eye. Okay, got the spider eye. Now let's go get the brown mushroom, which we can literally get just right over here. But this is a red mushroom. I need a brown one, but there should be one close. Here we go. Here's one. And now we got a brown mushroom. Now we just need a piece of sugar, which uh, there's a river right there. And look, there's some sugar cane. Give me. Turn it into sugar. And now we can make a fermented spider eye. We got it. Now let's just go make ourselves a weakness potion and then we can cure a villager. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by combining a bunch of our cobblestone with some blaze rods to make ourselves three brewing stands. Now let's grab some sand and let's quickly turn it into some glass. Okay, let's grab all our glass and let's turn it into glass bottles, which now just needs some water. <laughs> Now we'll put these bad boys in here. We'll add a blaze powder and our fermented spider eye. And this will give us three potions of weakness. There we go. Now we just need to turn them into throwing potions. So let's grab some gunpowder. And now let's combine that into our weakness potions to turn them into throwable weakness potions. And there we go. We got three splash potions of weakness. And now normally I would go to bed, but nighttime is the perfect time to cure a villager. So let's simply go to a village at night and get one cured. My guy did not find a village that night. <gasps> a village. Oh, I found a village. No, but the moon's setting. Quick. We're almost there. I just need to make a zombie villager. But the sun's rising. Okay, there's literally zombies right here next to this house. Please be a villager in here. Yes, get him. This guy, get this guy. No, not me. Get the villager. Get the villager. He's right here. I'm going out of his aggro range. Yes, go for the villager. Is this guy still coming for me? Bro. No, they're burning. No! Okay, well, maybe getting a zombie villager was harder than I thought. Because now it's daytime on day 40. And uh, now I can't get one. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand in this house until nighttime in protest of what just happened. Okay, the sun's setting. Night is here. We can now actually get a zombie villager, hopefully. We got a villager right here. Oh, there's a zombie. Okay, mobs are spawning. Let the game begin. Now, I can't let any of these zombies actually detect me. I just need them to naturally get the villagers. So, let's simply destroy all the doors in the village. So, that way, zombies can just easily get these guys. Okay, I see a zombie going for some of the villagers. Look, they're getting chased. Yes. No, not me. Okay, I gotta just leave. I gotta leave the village. Oh, there's a bunch of zombies going in that building. I think they got one. They got one. Get him. He's getting away. Yeah, go in the house. Trap yourself. Do it. The horde is waiting for you. Get him. No. Dude, this villager's invincible. They got him. He died. Oh. I just watched him die, and there is no zombie villager. But there's a lot of zombies. I'm guessing that doesn't make a zombie villager like I thought. So how are we supposed to do this? Let's go down there and take out some of these zombies and see. 
Well, this seemed to be a giant waste of time. Not only am I just dying to poison right now, but just to make matters worse. Oh God, I'm about to be at half heart. I need to hide. But now I'm really stuck. Time to use Google. Okay, I just read online that when a zombie kills a villager, there is a chance, a small chance, that a villager turns into a zombie. But now that we just wasted an entire day 40 and the sun's rising behind me, I feel like staying here and waiting for a zombie villager to spawn is just gonna be a waste because I see them in caves and in snow biomes under igloos all the time. So instead during the day, instead of just waiting around, let's go to the snow biome that's kind of close and see if we can find an igloo. I think I see one. I think I see an igloo. Oh, it is. We found an igloo. Now let's see if you have anything hidden underneath. Wait, okay, do you have the hidden thing? <gasps> oh, it does. It does. We're gonna be able to cure a villager this way. Oh, let's go. Does it give me the supplies too? It does. It gives me a golden apple and a potion of weakness. I didn't even have to waste my time making these things. Whatever, let's do it. So what we gotta do is break these bars, throw the potion of weakness on this dude. He'll start to shiver and then we just feed him a golden apple. And now look, he's shaking. Now we wait. There we go. Hey, look, we did it. Zombie doctor. He just turned back to normal. I didn't know I made a cool sound like that. Play that sound again. Creepy. Anyway, we officially cured a villager. We are the zombie doctor. So now let's simply head on home and tomorrow we'll take on the Akatsuki. Okay, hello on day 42. We gotta go take on the Akatsuki, so let's do it. Let's just go to their base and quickly take them out. Okay, we're getting close. Wait a sec. I think their base is still abandoned. Oh, they just left. Okay, well, it turns out the Akatsuki moved bases because uh, their beds are still gone. So I guess instead, we gotta go look for their new base. So let's go find it. Up until day 46, I was looking for the Akatsuki base everywhere. They are really good at hiding their bases this time. But but like always, I found their base eventually. And now just needed to take out the Akatsuki with Naruto's Rasengan. Ooh, okay, we got a temple. Let's check this out real quick. Ooh, this temple is already looted. And I didn't loot it. The Akatsuki might be nearby. This is all looted. <gasps> wait, wait, I see something. Oh, I see them, I see them, I see them. Look at them. The tiny dots over in the upper part of my screen. Oh, we got them. Let's stay low to the ground. Let's use our teleportation jutsu. <laughs> To get nice and close. Okay, here we go. We can use this hill for cover. Gotta be super careful. They're right there. Do they see me? Oh, they see me. No, they don't. They don't see me. Oh, no. He didn't even see me. Oh, wait. Oh, they got stalactites below. Hold on. He's done. He's done. Oh, he gave me bleed. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. Okay, we're bleeding again. Get him with some more bleed. There we go. Let's block off all the holes they have up here so they can't get up. Now let's kill him with Rasengan. Okay, it doesn't count because he took fall damage instead. He's also gonna die of fall damage. Gosh darn it. Stop dying of fall damage. Ah, no! They both just died in seconds. He's dead. Hey, no, 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 stop! I'm not getting any kills from this. They don't count. Oh no, this is not good. I'm actually gonna put a wall here. Don't fall this time, please. They all died. They all just keep falling. You know what? We got to lead them out of this base or we're not going to get any of these Rasengan kills. I got an idea, actually. Look, we got him trapped. Booyah. It worked. It worked. One Rasengan kill, finally. <laughs> they think this is going to work. This is not going to work either. No, I have this one blocked too, you fool. Let me out, please. No. <laughs> Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, he took a lot of fall damage. Let's go to him. Oh gosh! No! Nice, we got him. Oh! Nice, two more. Got the other one on us. Nice. No! He's running, he's running. We got him. Oh, he's eating. Oh, oh my god. Oh no! Oh, he's done. He took fall damage. Doesn't count though. We need to eat. One of them just missed us. I don't know where he is though. There he is right next to us. Oh. Oh. Only one survived. No! Naruto, please don't do this to me. That's five. Oh! Oh, wait, what? Dude, he just subjutsued on me. Oh, gosh. We got him, we got him, we got him. Surprise! Die, Naruto! Oh, God! We still got him. Oh, yes, we got him. That's all the kills we need. But they're on our tail. We need to get going quick. Okay, let's confuse him. Ready? We're going to lose him just like this. We're going to go in this cave. We need an empty slot. Get rid of our shield. And ready? They don't know which one I am. Look. What? What is happening? They have no idea which one I am. <laughs> Wait, which one's him though? I'll just sit back in the crowd. And they can't do anything. Get him. Okay. Oh, they're killing me. Oh, no. He's running, he's running, he's running. And with that, let's get out of here. Oh no, he's still chasing. Well, I have a better way to lose him. Ready? 
And just like that, we're gone. Okay, now that we have officially gotten all the kills with Rasengan, we can unlock the summoning jutsu and get Gamabunta. So let's summon him right here. Ta-da! And now we have Gamabunta on our side. And he'll fight anything that we fight. Like if I punch this pig, <laughs> he burns the pig to death. Look, let's do it again. <laughs> Gamabuta is great. Look at this guy. And now with him on our side, the Akatsuki doesn't stand a chance. I hope. So with Gamabuta unlocked, next it's time to become Chunin Naruto, which I can get by simply getting 30 diamonds, 30 emeralds, and 30 nether quartz. And I already have the nether quartz, so we just need more diamonds and emeralds. So let's whip out the pickaxe and go down to the mines. Okay, we got all the diamonds we need because we got six more at home. And now we just need to go get some emeralds. But the diamonds took longer than usual, so we'll get the emeralds tomorrow when we actually find a mountain biome. Okay, so since we just need some emeralds now, let's go back to the village we were at earlier where we failed to get the zombie villager because there was a mountain right next to there, and that's going to be our best bet. Okay, this area looks super promising. This definitely looks like a mountain. I could go down to this cave maybe and get some emeralds. Oh, actually, hold on. There's emeralds right here. Look at this. I found some. Now we just got to find a bunch more. Okay, we've got all 30 emeralds that we need. So now let's just go home, grab our nether quartz, and turn into Chunin Naruto. Now with our 30 emeralds, 30 diamonds, and nether quartz, we can go from being a Genin into a Chunin. With 25 hearts of HP, strength 2, speed 2, and jump 4. Okay, so now that we're a Chunin, we have to pick another upgrade to work on. Which has got to be Ross and Shuriken, because that's literally one of Naruto's strongest moves. I mean, look at it in the anime. That's so broken. And you know I got to unlock... What was that? Are the hunters up here? They've got to be, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're here, they're here, they're here. Oh, I don't have my shield. I don't have my shield. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, boink. Okay, it's on. Let's teleport. Okay, we're gone. We're gone. We're gone. That should give him some blindness. Now we can hide. Okay, we're bleeding. Two are bleeding. Okay, we're gonna need to kill him here. Let's summon Gamabuntu. There he is. Burn him, Gamabuntu. Get him. Okay, they're taking on the frog. Okay, one's dead. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. It's actually shredding through my defensive mode. I hear someone burning. Oh, there he is. He's up in the sky. We got him! You did it, Gamabuntu! I did nothing, and this frog just took all of them out! This frog is broken! But you wanna know what else is broken? Our entire tree base! It's just gone! All that's left is, like, this smoker, a few logs. They literally just nuked my base, which is not fair at all. Luckily, we kept some of our stuff stored down below, but we definitely have to move bases. So, let's grab our stuff, and let's move to a new Naruto base. My tree base is gone! Which honestly kinda stinks, because I like that tree. But complaining won't bring my tree back so i worked on my new base until day 57 okay so welcome to the brand new naruto base i'm sure you're guessing where it is but it's actually hidden right behind the waterfall right behind me just like in the show when naruto has to train in a cave before the madara war so i decided to build a base behind a waterfall too so let me actually show you the base you go behind the waterfall and then you got this nice entrance right here and we can shut the door behind us so that way you can't see the entrance then you simply go down the stairs and you're officially in the brand new naruto base it's a pretty simple base we got the furnaces and the chests in our bed but we also have some new stuff like the enchanting table a nice new nether station and all these really pretty waterfalls but with the base now complete we are already much stronger in fact we already have full enchanted diamond armor and tools meaning beating the akatsuki just got even easier but we're still not done with our upgrades and next we've got to get the final tier 3 upgrade which is called chakra stance basically this lets me change my chakra stance between defense and offense giving me crazy defense and offensive buffs including things like automatical critical hits and doubling all ores i mine but luckily, unlocking Chakra Stance is easy. We just need 20 Magma Cream, 30 Glowstone, and 500 Netherrack. So let's go to the Nether, and let's go grab some Netherrack and Glowstone. Okay, so now we just have to go ahead and start digging up some Netherrack. And just like that, we have all 500 Netherrack we need. So now let's go grab some Glowstone. And there we go, we officially have all 30 glowstone. Now let's just go find a bastion, so that way we can get the 20 magma cream we need. Okay, we found a bastion. We need to find one with a bridge, and that's the one we got. So let's just, uh, dig you and dig you. Okay, so now if we make our way down to the bottom, there should be a magma cream spawner. Okay, I've got all 30 magma cream. And now let's get out of here. Okay, so we can officially unlock chakra mode, which is a brand new ability that I'm gonna show you real quick. So if I activate it, you're gonna see that have suddenly turned purple. And that means I'm in defense mode. I kind of turn like a purplish bluish color. And in defense mode, I get resistance two, haste two, I double all ores, but unfortunately I get weakness two because it's defense mode. But if I activate it again, you're gonna see I change colors one more time. Now I'm red, which is offense mode. In an offense mode, I get looting five automatic crits and constant regeneration. However, I'm extremely slow. This is literally me sprinting. And that's basically chakra mode. But I want to test the ore doubling because that kind of sounds amazing. And I want to see if it works on ancient debris. So let's go ahead and let's put an ancient debris down right here. Now, if we mine this, it should double. 
it didn't. I'm guessing they don't want me to have infinite ancient debris. So let's try a different ore instead. Look, let's try this gold ore. You'll see I mined it and I got two. If we do it with our silk touch pick, you're gonna notice we get one silk touch and one non-silk touch. But anyway, now that we have our chakra stance unlocked, we've got to work on one of Naruto's most famous jutsu and most powerful, Rasen Shuriken. Which if you haven't seen this, just cue the explosion. Watch out, the subway's coming! <laughs> what this does. Now to actually unlock it, I need to kill 10 iron golems with Goomabunta. I also need to get the subspace bubble achievement, which basically means I have to walk a thousand blocks in the nether, build another nether portal, and leave. And then finally, I just need to kill some Akatsuki with Gamabunta, which we've already done before, so I don't see that being too hard. So let's start by getting 10 iron golem kills with our good buddy Frog here. So let's quickly smelt a bunch of iron, because basically in total, I'm gonna need 360 iron. So while that's all smelting, let's go down to the mines and let's quickly go get some more. And just like that, we have all the iron blocks that we need. Now we just need to go find ourselves some quick pumpkins, which we'll grab right here. Now let's just shear all these pumpkins. Now let's get Gamabunta to take on a bunch of iron golems. So let's build our first guy right here, stick a jack-o'-lantern on top, and we've got our first golem. Let's punch the golem, which will start a battle between Gamabunta and the golem. And Gamabunta loses, but the one advantage is I can keep spawning him in, meaning the fight continues. One down, nine to go. And just like that, Kamabuta is taking out 10 iron golems, which means all we need now is to head home because it's nighttime and there's mobs outside. So let's go home. Okay, now that we got the Kamabuta kills we need, we need to get the subspace bubble achievement, which basically means we gotta go into the nether, walk 1,000 blocks, and then teleport again. So let's grab five obsidian from the chest and seven from up here. And now we have everything we need to make a nether portal. Okay, so we're currently at X negative 381. So we need to get that to X negative 1300, which is in this direction over here. So let's start going this way. Oh, hey, look, we ended up in a bastion. That's convenient. Let's see what you guys got for loot. And good thing we found this bastion because for our next upgrade, we actually need a banner pattern. And we found one here. So that makes life super easy. But if we look at our X, we're actually at negative 1500. So we should have gone far enough. So let's go and build our nether portal right here. And let's get subspace bubble. Ta-da, we did it. And now we gotta go all the way home. So a subspace bubble officially unlocked. We just need to get four kills on the Akatsuki using Gamma Bunta. Okay, the Akatsuki base is literally just behind this hill. So let's go in and let's get some kills with Rasengan. Okay, here we go, ready? And go. Oh my God, dude, Naruto's here! There we go, that's one. Yep, it worked just for being near Gamma Bunta. Let's quickly get outside. And now let's get him, Gamma Bunta. That's two. No, I could not get away, please. There we go, nice, Gamma Bunta got him. He has to just get one more. There we go, we got all four. Now let's unlock Rasen Shuriken and let's try this ability out. Let's throw this Rasen Shuriken at their base. Oh, that was so cool. Let's throw another one. No, our base, dude. He's shurikening it. Sh shurikening it. How do you say that word? Okay, we just took out a large part of their base. Okay, let's go inside. There we go, their beds are gone. And I just blew two of them up. Nice. No. Oh, that was close, but we got him. And just like that, this base is toast. Okay, so now that Gamabunta has gotten a bunch of kills in the Akatsuki, we've unlocked Ross and Shuriken. I basically throw a Ross and Shuriken, and then I can guide it like a missile. So as an example, let's throw one, and I can make this thing go anywhere. Look at this. I'm fully controlling this, and I can make it hit anywhere. So with Ross and Shuriken unlocked, there's only two more tier four upgrades to go. We can either unlock Sage Mode, or we can work on Joni Naruto. But I want Sage Mode. So to actually get Sage mode we just need to get 20 sponges and a bunch of dead coral and luckily we can skip the trip to the nether because we already have a banner pattern so let's go grab our boat and let's head to a warm ocean okay we made it to the warm ocean now we just need to find some sponges and grab some coral okay we officially have all the dead coral that we need so now we just need to grab some sponges okay so i looked around for sponges for a little bit i literally couldn't find any and so i did some googling and it turns out sponges don't spawn in coral reefs they literally only spawn in underwater monuments so we gotta go find one okay here's the underwater temple i found it okay now for the hard part let's get past all these guardians and dive okay now let's just look for some sponges Okay, we've got 22 sponges. Now let's get out of here. Okay, so with the 22 sponges and a bunch of dead coral, and we'll grab our banner pattern from our chest, and now let's unlock Sage Mode, which right now does nothing. So let's go outside and test it. So now that we're outside and somewhere safe, let's activate Sage Mode. My eyes now glow a yellowy orange, and I now have Naruto's whiskers. And while in Sage Mode, you're gonna notice I have Jump Boost 6, Speed 6, Strength 6, Automatic Crits, Infinite Chakra, No Knockback, and Increased Reach. Look, I'm breaking grass all the way over 
over there. Oh my goodness, look how fast we're moving. We're so broken in Sage Mode. Oh wait, Sage Mode's over. Now I'm nauseous. Oh god, I actually have weakness, nausea, and slowness. But anyway, with Sage Mode unlocked, we only have one more tier 4 upgrade to go, and that's to turn Naruto into a Joni. With 40 total hearts of HP and a ton of good stats, we just need to trade in full enchanted diamond armor, one totem of undying, and a netherite axe. So let's start by gathering everything we need to get a totem of undying, which is just some glass panes, some paper, and a couple other miscellaneous items. So let's start by grabbing some sugar cane. Okay, we have all the sugar cane that we need. Now let's just grab some sand for some glass panes. Okay, we got all the sand we need. It's just the sun starting to set. Let's head on home. And tomorrow we can trade with some villagers to get ourselves a totem of undying. So I went in and crafted the paper. Now I'm letting the glass melt. So we can turn into glass panes. And then we'll just head to a village and trade for the woodland mansion map. Okay, let's grab all our glass. And let's turn the rest of it into glass panes. And now we have everything we need to get ourselves a totem. Okay, so let's go and let's break this and put down our cartography table. And now this guy should become a cartographer. Now let's trade him a bunch of our paper for emeralds. And that'll level this guy up a little bit. And now we trade him glass panes for emeralds. That'll level him up again. And now we can get the woodland explorer map which will get us to a woodland mansion so now just look at the map and we can see where the tiny dot in that upper right hand corner oh raid are hunters here oh no i see them they're up on the mountain you know what we're not even gonna bother fighting these guys we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here and go to the woodland mansion let's go okay we're definitely far enough away from them now but they definitely saw which way we were going so let's quickly just keep heading this way until we get to the woodland mansion and so we headed to the woodland mansion however i didn't realize that after my quick encounter with the akatsuki that they actually had decided to follow me oh the map's finally loading we're getting close I don't see it, but we're getting close. There it is, the Woodland Mansion. Let's get up there. Now let's just break our way inside and get ourselves a totem. Okay, we have to go down a floor. There's none on the top floor. Oh, he's up here. He's up here. He's up here. I'm in offensive mode, but he is upstairs. Oh, I see a hunter's name. They're here too. Oh, I hear one. In here? Oh, an evoker. Yes, we got the totem. Oh, they're behind us. Let's switch to our chakra mode. Ready? We're now in offense. No, dude. Okay, that's one down. Oh my goodness! Two down. I found another one! That's two totems of undying! Okay, I see one of the hunters. He's below. Yes, we got them! They're all dead! And with two totems of undying in our inventory, we can get out of here. Okay, so we're officially home. And now that we have the totem of undying, we just need to get full enchanted diamond armor and a netherite axe. So let's make our way down to the mine and let's get a bunch of diamonds. And just like that, we have a bunch of diamonds, which is definitely enough to get us full enchanted diamond armor and the netherite axe. So we'll simply start by crafting ourselves a diamond chest plate, diamond leggings, diamond boots, and a diamond helmet. Then we're gonna make some sticks and make ourselves a diamond axe. Now let's grab our three ancient debris from this chest and our one netherite scrap from this chest. And let's quickly smelt those three ancient debris, which gives us a total of four netherite scraps. Now we simply combine these four netherite scraps, which if we add that and the diamond axe to a smithing table, we get the netherite axe we need. We officially have everything we need to be become Joni Naruto, who is basically permanently in sage mode, hence the orange eyes, and my amazing red outfit. We only have three more upgrades to go. The combat upgrade, 1,000 years of death, the utility upgrade that lets me summon the nine-tailed fox, our final Naruto upgrade, Hokage of the Hidden Leaf Village. Now to actually unlock all this stuff is gonna be kind of difficult, because we need to go to the end if we want to unlock it. So let's quickly go to the nether, grab some blaze rods and ender pearls, so that way we can make it to the end. Okay, so let's start by killing a bunch of these blaze is Okay, we've got 15 blaze rods, which is definitely more than enough. So now let's head to a bastion and get some ender pearls. Okay, I've got a bunch of piglins trapped in the hole below me. So now let's just trade them a bunch of the gold that we got earlier. Okay, they got five stacks of gold. That should definitely be enough. Okay, it looks like the piglins are all done trading. We got two full stacks of ender pearls plus an extra four. We can officially leave the nether and start heading out to kill the ender dragon. Okay, so let's start by crafting the eyes of ender by turning half our blaze rods into blaze powder and combining it with our 16 ender pearls, which gives us 16 eyes of ender, which is definitely all that we need. So now let's simply throw the first eye of ender and see where it goes oh great it's it's going that way okay let's throw the next eye just on the edge of this hill right here oh it's already going backwards no way okay so let's just dig down right here until we get into the stronghold okay we mined into a cave right here and we're pretty deep so if we don't see it we may be in the wrong area nope we're not look right here i knew we were close and now let's just find the portal oh i found the portal let's go put all the eyes in so let's go in okay we ended up in a giant hole let's dig our way out here real quick okay now let's just go take out the dragon's end crystals oh the hunters are here i literally just saw them get the end thing in chat we need to hurry up all the crystals are dead so we just gotta take out the dragon okay let's get him with some raw gun instead you know what i'm summoning the frog frog take him out okay i got an idea we can take them out here ready nice he's done we killed one nice it's two down i almost killed gamma no 
Oh man, I'm dying. I'm dead. Yes, they're all dead. Okay, we just gotta kill the dragon now before they get back. Come on, one more shot. This is it. We got him. Oh, that was a snipe. Okay, the ender dragon's dead. So now let's just go ahead and steal his dragon egg. And now the dragon egg is ours. Okay, so with this dragon egg in hand, all we need now is to get some shulker shells and elytra. So let's go over here to this teleporter and let's toss in an ender pearl. And now we just gotta find an end city with some elytra and we can get out of here. I looked around the outer end for elytra until day 78. And in the meantime, I was able to grab all the shulker shells that we needed. Oh, I see an end city. It's literally straight ahead. This is only the second end city we've found. Oh, and it has a ship. So let's simply just teleport over there. And now let's get up to the ship and we made it. Now just dodge all these levitating things. Go down below the ship and grab the elytra and now let's get out of here okay so let's toss our ender pearl up there and head on home okay so let's just simply get back to the portal real quick. Ooh, hunters 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 let's go into sage mode so that way it's going to be easier to kill them oh better yet let's just launch some ross and shurikens at them oh no what is that oh is that God, a shuriken dude and here they are oh one's behind us one behind us. get him with this let's activate sage mode which should let us knock him back a ton nice that's one dead Nice, two dead. No, dude. And three dead. Sage mode is broken. Oh, they're back. See you later. Oh, bye-bye. I'll see you all later. Oh, wait, they obsidianed it. Oh, God. And let's break this portal. We just got to break one hole in the top is all we have to do. No, he got me off. Let's get our better pickaxe out. Nice, he's dead. What? He one-tapped me. This is it. We can get out of here. It's broken. And we're gone. Yes! And we are out of there! Let's go! We've escaped the end, and we have the dragon egg, shulker shells, and elytra to show for it. But now that we're done in the end, we just need four end crystals, and we can become Naruto the Hokage of the Hidden Leaf Village. So let's simply grab our extra blaze rods and ender pearls, and let's turn them into four eyes of ender. Now to finish the end crystal, we just need four gas tears and a bunch of glass. And since we already have the glass, let's quickly run to the nether and get four gas tears. So now let's just quickly find some gas. Oh, I see one. <laughs> we got our first gas tier. Now let's just get three more. Nice, we killed one ghast up there. Let's see if we can get this other one with our kunai. Nice, we got him. He'll die from that. Okay, we officially have the four gas tiers we need. Now let's just go home and make some end crystals. Okay, so let's go and let's combine our glass, our eyes of ender, and our gas tiers to get four end crystals. And with those unlocked, we have everything we need to become the Hokage of the Hidden Leaf Village. With 60 hearts of HP and in Naruto's Nine-Tailed Fox Chakra Mode, we are broken. We also have Jump 8, Speed 4, and Strength 4. And now with the Hokage form unlocked, there's only two more Tier 5 upgrades to go. 1,000 years of death and the ability to summon the Nine-Tailed Fox. Let's start by unlocking a thousand years of death because that ability just sounds fun. So let's start by blowing up 5,000 blocks with our Ross and Shuriken. So let's just shoot it right here at the grass. And that's 133, 300. And just like that, we've blown up 2,000 blocks. And now we need to get 10 mob kills with the Ross and Shuriken, except we can't get the kills with the explosions. We have to just lightly touch them with it without hitting the ground. Let's give it a shot. So let's try it with this sheep over here. We're going to shoot it and try not to hit the ground. Ready? Okay, it kind of blew up, but we did kill the sheep before the explosion. Now let's just do that nine more times. And just like that, we have all 10 mob kills. And now we just got to kill the Akatsuki 10 times with the Ross and Shuriken. And we'll already be done with our tier five combat upgrade, a thousand years of death. But first things first, we got to find the Akatsuki base. I got to the new Akatsuki base on day 84. And once we got all the kills we needed, we could finally unlock 1,000 years of death. Okay, here's a village here. They like to be near villages and around them. So this could be good. Oh my God, no, I found their base. Look at it. It's right there on the hill. We need kills with our Ross and Shuriken. So let's sneak around the back and try and get them that way. Now let's sneak over this side. And now we just got to get him with Ross and Shuriken. Okay, eat some food and let's fire it off. Okay, first one out. Okay, I got one. Oh my God, they're coming from this way. Blue one up. One's on us. Let's use him to protect ourselves. Okay, let's get some more explosion kills. Okay, we blew one up. Nice. One's running this way. Nice, we got him. That's five blown up. Nice, we blew him up. There we go. We got another one. As they come in, we're going to get him here over the hill. Let's eat some food. Oh God, we're not just well. Now that our chakra mode in, let's change the defense mode. Now let's go this way. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, we blew him up. We got him. That's 10 of 10. Okay, let's quickly teleport this way. Now let's lock a thousand years of pain. Okay, here we go. I have it in my hand. Let's get him. A thousand years of death. Okay, I set him flying. Let's get this guy. A thousand years of death. Okay, one of them went flying. There's one behind us. Let's get him. Death. There he goes. And he's dead. No. Here we get him with the bow on the way down. Oh, if I hit that. Oh, no, he died. Now, let's just go ahead and let's get out of here. And just like that, we've unlocked a thousand years of death. If it isn't obvious, it sends people flying. Like, if I hit this cow... A thousand years of death! 
He's gone. And just like that, we have our final combat ability finished, which leaves us with only one ability to go, which is summoning the Ninetale Fox. Now, we already have the Elytra that we need, so all we need left is a Nether Star and a Heart of the Sea. So let's start by getting a Heart of the Sea, which we can find by simply locating a shipwreck. Okay, I remember there being a shipwreck somewhere near this warm ocean. So let's see if we can find it. It was somewhere around here. So let's check out this one first in the middle of this reef. Perfect, the buried treasure map. And now we just gotta follow this map until we get a Heart of the Sea. We're really not that far. We just need to head southeast, which is this direction. So let's start going. Okay, we're getting close. Let's go this way. Okay, it's literally gonna be right off the coast here. Okay, it's literally gonna be below one of these blocks. Could we even be below the gravel? Hold on, it could just be below this one. Oh, it is. Let's go. And we got the heart of the sea, which means now we just need a nether star and we'll be a fully upgraded Naruto. Now let's just go to the nether and let's get some wither skeleton skulls. Okay, we officially have all three wither skeleton skulls that we need. So now let's just grab some soul sand and then we'll go battle the wither. Okay, so let's go ahead and summon the wither right here. And now it's time to battle the wither. And just like that, the wither's dead. And we've got his nether star, which means we can now summon the nine tail fox. Let's simply unlock the upgrade and let's summon the nine tail fox. Oh. Oh my god, he's huge. And uh, he does not like Gobubuntu. In fact, he just attacks everything in sight. Oh my goodness. Anyway, now that we can summon the Ninetale Fox, we are full strength Naruto. Which means now we just gotta survive until day 100. And as much as I'd like to say it's gonna be easy, after losing in the last video, I really don't wanna get my hopes up. And so I waited for the Akatsuki to make their move. I knew with time running short that they were gonna try some big attack very soon. And that attack came on day 93. Okay, so now let's just go enchant this fresh bow. So it's a little bit stronger because power one just ain't cutting it anymore so let's quickly head back to the base and now let's go get this bow enchanted now let's just throw the bow in throw our lapis in and let's give it power four. Oh, that's so much better whoa people are here people are here let's go into stage mode stage mode is broken get out of the base they're gonna destroy it otherwise we don't need the base open it let's go up top nice we're up top now let's go and let's get him up here and let's summon kurama ready he's near me oh no dude oh the giant tail falls you want to fight Kurama, dude? I got the literal nine-tailed fox on my side. Oh, my God. The fox is destroying them. All right. I, I think I bled the fox. Okay. They killed the nine-tailed fox. Okay. They're all three still there. They got beds nearby somewhere. Okay. We sent one flying. He's almost dead, dude. That's another one dead. No. Oh, my God. He's done. That's two down. They're definitely spawning somewhere up there pretty far back. Let's go over here. And let's see if we can find their beds real quick. They're definitely somewhere over here. Oh, I found them. Oh, he's going to our bed. No, not the bed. First bed gone. Nice, that's one. Dude, no, he got me. Nice, that's another one done. He's dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Do they have any beds? Nope, I quit. No, they don't. We win. The nine tail fox was too strong to handle. So you guys quit? Naruto just has plot armor, dude. We can't win. With the Akatsuki quitting, that means Naruto officially wins the challenge. And this video's over. Subscribe.